Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we're going to solve a Legendre's equation. So let's get going. Problem. Solve 1 plus 2x whole square d square minus 6 times 1 plus 2x into d plus 16 into y equal to 8 times 1 plus 2x whole square. So we are given a differential equation of the form ax plus b power n into d power n plus p1 ax plus b power n minus 1 into d power n minus 1 plus so on plus p n into y equal to some function of x form right so the given equation is of this form so we'll call it as legendre's equation so now we'll solve this equation by reducing this equation to linear equation with constant equations by making some substitution and later we'll find the solution the general solution to this equation okay now coming to the problem given differential equation 1 plus 2x whole square d square minus 6 times 1 plus 2x into d plus 16 into y equal to 8 times 1 plus 2x whole square consider as equation number 1 so we are given a Legendre's equation fine now we'll make the substitution we know that from Legendre's theorem procedure I mean from Legendre's equation procedure we know that ax plus b can be replaced by e power z then z will be log of ax plus b and theta is nothing but a differential operator whose independent variable is z and ax plus b into d can be replaced by the quotient of x a into theta since the power is 1 and ax plus b whole square into d square can be written as or can be replaced by a square into here you're having square right so you'll get two terms here theta into theta minus one okay likewise if you have q you'll get three terms that is a cube into theta into theta minus one into theta minus two right now coming to our problem here let 1 plus 2x equal to e power z okay we can replace 1 plus 2x by e power z then z equal to log of 1 plus 2x and here theta is d by dz which is a differential operator theta is differential operator here 1 plus 2x into d can be replaced by quotient of x which is 2 into theta and 1 plus 2x whole square into d square can be replaced by quotient of x is 2 so you'll get 2 square into since you're having power 2 right so you'll get two terms here theta into theta minus 1 now equation 1 becomes we'll make the substitution okay equation 1 becomes just replace the first term 1 plus 2x whole square into d square by 2 square into theta of theta minus 1 minus 6 into replace 1 plus 2x into d by 2 theta plus 16 into y equal to 8 into 1 plus 2x can be replaced by e power z so you'll get e power z whole square now this gives us 2 square is 4 theta into theta theta square minus 4 theta minus 6 to the 12 theta plus 16 into y equal to 8 e power 2z right again this reduces to 4 theta square minus 4 theta minus 12 theta gives us minus 16 theta plus 16 into y equal to 8 e power 2z right now let's take 4 common from the LHS part we will get 4 times theta square minus 4 theta plus 4 into y equal to 
8 e power 2z. Okay, now take this 4 to RHS, then you'll get theta square minus 4 theta plus 4 into y equal to 8 e power 2z by 4. 4 ones are 4 twos are. This reduces to theta square minus 4 theta plus 4 into y equal to 2 e power 2z. Consider it as equation number 2. We have considered the reduced equation as equation 2. See, we have reduced the given differential equation to a linear equation with constant questions, which is in operator form theta, right? Say f of theta into y equal to some function of z or the RHS part of red reduced equation, consider it as r. Okay, where f of theta is theta square minus 4 theta plus 4 theta square minus 4 theta plus 4 and r is 2 e power 2z. Now we'll find the general solution to equation 2 using y equal to yc plus yp where yc is complementary function yp is particular integral. We'll find yc using auxiliary equation. We'll find yp using 1 by f of theta into the RHS part of reduced equation. Okay, firstly we'll find the general solution to this reduced equation and later using the solution of equation 2 will find the solution of equation 1. The solution of equation 2 will be in terms of z and the solution of equation 1 will be in terms of x. So now coming to the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation is f of m equal to 0, where f of m equal to, we have f of theta, theta square minus 4 theta plus 4, right? Let's replace theta by m in f of theta, then you'll get f of theta equal to m square minus 4 m plus 4, right? Then the auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 4 m plus 4 equal to 0, which is m minus 2 whole square, right? which is an expansion of m minus 2 whole square. Now we can write this as m minus 2 into m minus 2 equal to 0, right? Now we equate each factor to 0. When m minus 2 equal to 0, m equal to 2. Since m minus 2 is repeating twice, so we'll have m equal to 2, 2. The roots are real and equal, right? Fine, since the roots are real and equal, we know that when two roots, say m1 and m2 are real and equal, then yc will be c1 plus c2z into e power that equal root into z. Okay, so now coming to our complementary function, yc equal to c1 plus c2 into z into e power that equal root 2 into z right from this we'll get yc equal to c1 plus c2z into e power 2z right therefore therefore yc equal to c1 plus c2z into e power 2z. Now we got yc. Let's now find yp. yp is given by 1 by f of theta into r. Is equals to 1 by f of theta. f of theta is theta square theta square minus 4 theta plus 4 into r is the RHS part of the reduced equation 2 e power 2z. Right. We can also write this as 2 into 1 by theta square minus 4 theta plus 4 into e power 2z. See the term under brackets is of the form 1 by f of theta into e power az. Right. This is of 1 by f of theta 1 by f of theta into e power az type. 
here we have f of theta equal to theta square minus 4 theta plus 4, right? And here just compare this with 1 by 4 theta into e power a z. Then for a equal to 2, we need to find f of 2 or f of a. Okay, we'll find f of a. So f of 2 equal to just replace theta by 2, you'll get 2 square minus 4 into 2 plus 4 which gives us 4 minus 8 plus 4 which is 8 minus 8 equal to 0 right if you replace theta by 2 you'll get 0 in the denominator since 1 by 0 is undefined so we'll not substitute 2 here so what we'll do is we'll just write 1z into 1 by since f of 2 is equal to 0 right so we'll find derivative of f of theta so here we need to find f dash of theta which is 2 theta derivative of theta squared is 2 theta minus derivative of 4 theta is 4 and derivative of constant is 0 so we'll get 2 theta minus 4 here again we need to find f dash of 2 okay f dash of 2 you'll get 2 into 2 minus 4 just replace theta by 2 you'll get f dash of 2 then you'll get 4 minus 4 again it is 0 right so again what we have to do is since f dash of 2 equal to 0 so now we'll write one more z here into 1 by Write the derivative of f dash of theta. f dash of theta, derivative of dash of theta is f double dash of theta, which is 2 theta. Derivative of 2 theta is 2 minus derivative of a 4. I mean, derivative of a constant is 0, right? So, f double dash of theta is 2. So, we'll get 2 here into e power 2z. Okay. Here 2 gets cancelled and you will get this is equal to z into z, z square e power 2z, right? Therefore, yp equal to z square e power 2z. So, we got yc and yp. Let's now find the general solution to the reduced equation, equation 2 using y equal to yc plus yp. Therefore, the general solution to equation 2 is given by y equal to yc plus yp. Then y equal to yc we have c1 plus c2z into e power 2z plus yp is z square e power 2z, right? Therefore, y equal to c1 plus c2z e power 2z plus z square e power 2z is the general solution to the reduced equation which is in terms of z right which is in terms of z so this is the general solution to the reduced equation equation 2 now using this equation that is the solution the general solution will find the general solution to the given equation right now we have y equal to c1 plus c2z into e power 2z plus z square e power 2z, right? We can write this as c1 plus c2z into e power 2z can be written as e power z whole square plus z square into again e power 2z can be written as e power z whole square. Now in the next step, we'll replace e power z by 1 plus 2x and we'll replace z by log of 1 plus 2x since e power z equal to 1 plus 2x and z equal to log of 1 plus 2x. Now this equation becomes y equal to c1 plus c2 into z. Replace z by log of 1 plus 2x into e power z 
can be replaced by 1 plus 2x whole square plus z square that is log of 1 plus 2x whole square into e power z whole square e power z is 1 plus 2x whole square which is the solution to the given differential equation therefore the general solution to equation 1 is y equal to c1 plus c2 into log of 1 plus 2x into 1 plus 2x whole square plus log of 1 plus 2x whole square into 1 plus 2x whole square. This completes the problem. Well, we have seen a problem from Legendre's equation in this video. I hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.